guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm going to be doing my third anti-haul. It's actually been like a year since I've done an anti-haul, which is way too long because there's so much stuff that uh, I shouldn't buy. <laughs> I have a huge collection. If you've seen any of my collection or declutter videos, you guys know that. I buy a ton of makeup and believe it or not, I don't buy everything. <laughs> I do have to talk myself out of some stuff. So it is that time again. I am really at a point where I'm actually frust getting frustrated with my collection being the size that it is. Uh, not because I don't enjoy playing with makeup. I do. I really do. Um, I'm very happy that, you know, I'm able to afford such a big and nice collection. However, uh, I move a lot and it's really annoying. It's getting just really, really annoying to um, pack and unpack my makeup so often. Um, I have moved... Uh, three times in the last year I'm moving again in about a month and a half back to California so these are like a lot of these are cross-country moves and uh, I'm just getting like really really sick of the packing and unpacking of my makeup because I just have so much so uh, yeah I need to do some more decluttering and I need to do more anti hauls so that I don't get sucked in and like buy all this stuff that I don't need you know we're just we're so inundated, you know, in the beauty community with new releases all the time. Brands are coming out with new product, just piling it on constantly, 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 especially at the holiday time, which is supposed to be a time of, you know, giving and generosity and not, you know, buying stuff. Like, and that's kind of what it's turned into, which I'm not even, you know, I, I, I've done too long of an intro at this point, but, uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about that, Kimberly Clark has some great videos on consumerism. She is the kind of creator of the whole anti-haul thing on YouTube. She does great anti-hauls. I think she's done 17 or 18 at this point. Uh, they're really fantastic. I will link her channel below. Um, also, Lauren May Beauty recently did a video about like makeup addiction, like the truth of makeup addiction and stuff. And I think that's a really good one to watch too if you're trying to uh, buy less. So I will link those channels below. And let's just go ahead and get into the anti-haul because there is a ton of stuff to talk about. First stuff is going to be this Becca Apreski Glow Collection. They came out with a face palette and then also it, an eyeshadow palette. The eye palette is 45 bucks. You get seven like small pan eyeshadows and they're all shimmery. They're all like based on the shimmering skin perfectors, but they like put it in an eyeshadow form or something. 45 bucks. It's like this huge palette that they didn't use the space well in my opinion. And um, these are all neutral colors that I already have in my collection. If you have a lot of the Becca highlighters, you probably have all these in your collection. There's no, no rule that says you can't use a highlighter for an eyeshadow. So uh, I'm definitely not purchasing that. Next things I wanna talk about are the things that Cover FX has come out with. They have this like little four pack uh, custom enhancer drops, which I was really tempted to buy. And when I saw them first on Trend Mood, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. But I have changed my mind. Um, you get four shades. Two of them would probably work on my skin tone, two of them would not. I was thinking, well, I can keep two and then give two to a friend who really likes like glowy highlight. But then I was like, Ugh, I don't know if she uses liquid highlighter. And I know that I personally don't use liquid highlighter because I just tend to forget about it and it's a little bit messy and it's a little bit harder to work with because you have to use like the teeniest amount so that it doesn't look crazy. I only have two liquid highlighters and I honestly don't use them that much even though they're really good products. So I am not going to get this. Another thing from CoverFX that is exclusive to Ulta is their new like highlighter face palette thing. It's $39, which I think is actually a really good deal for six highlighters um, from CoverFX, which is, you know, a really good brand. This product has some really good reviews, but honestly, I look at this palette and there's like two shades in there, there that will work for my skin tone as highlight. The other ones won't work. And honestly, highlight, I think, is something that, you know, like you diffuse it out on your cheeks. And I don't think you can really tell the difference between like a pink based one and a golden based one you know like I don't know like I don't think that highlighters once you actually apply them look that different you could probably say the same thing about blushes and I still have a ton of blushes but 
whatever. Anyway, moving on. Hourglass holiday collection. Oh my goodness, I was so tempted by this, but I absolutely don't need it. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. They come out with one of these beautiful face palettes every year, and this one, honestly, if I hadn't purchased it last year, I would be buying this during the VIB sale uh, because although I wouldn't pay $80 for it, I would pay $64 for it because obviously I did last year. Uh, but I don't need it because I got the face palette last year. I love that face palette. Uh, it's really, you know, it's something that I've used year round. It's great for traveling. You kind of have everything you need for your face in one palette, which is really nice. Um, and this one is actually, I think, a little bit better because you actually get six products instead of five. You have uh, Diffused Light, which is a finishing powder that I love, but I already have a mini of that. You get uh, the Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer, which is uh, a bronzer that I actually use. I have a mini of that that I got in a kit this summer. You also get a strobe powder, two blushes, and then another um, finishing powder. So I do think this is a really nice set, and if I didn't already have a face palette from them, I would be purchasing this. But because I already have a face palette from them, and two of the products in this face palette I already have, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, another thing from their collection is this strobe lighting palette. It's 62 bucks. You get three powders. They're like super metallic-y, like glowy highlights. If that's your thing, go for it. For me, I prefer something a little bit more subtle. And honestly, it's got like these two lighter shades and then a dark brown shade. So I don't know any skin tone that is going to be able to use all three of these shades. It's just, I, I don't get it. Uh, so no, I am not buying that. <laughs> Next thing is going to be the Hourglass uh, Lip Set. It's $54. You get three of their lipsticks in this set, and they're all really similar colors. You are saving a little bit of money, I guess, by buying the set, but honestly, I bought one of these, and I wouldn't buy any more. It's, it's okay, but it's a teeny tiny lipstick. I don't use it very much because I don't want to run out of it, and um, it's just overpriced, so no, I'm not going to get that. Oh, next thing that I want to talk about are the Sephora Favorites kits. I can't go too much into detail on these because there's just too many of them, so I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. First of all, Sephora Favorites kits. Uh, I think that they can be a really good value. However, I purchase cruelty-free products. Uh, that's a big thing of mine that's very important to me. So kind of my rule with these Sephora Favorites kits, though, is I don't think it's fair for me to, like not be able to buy them and not be able to save like that money if it you know if it's mostly cruelty free so if it's like more than 70 percent cruelty free then I, you know my rule is it's okay to purchase it as long as there are no full-size products that are not cruelty free so with that said there aren't a lot of options for me anyway but let's talk about the options that there are and why I'm not going to buy those. <laughs> so first thing that I want to talk about is the Give Me Some Nude Lip. This is, I, I almost bought this set, but then I held off and I'm not going to get it. Um, this is almost all cruelty free. There is one lip product in here that's not, that is a uh, mini from Makeup Forever. The full size product is a liquid lipstick from Seate London. I actually do like their liquid lipstick, although it is a bit drying. I'm just not, I'm still not into that whole matte drying lips thing. So I don't think I would really use that product that much, and that's what the full size is. There's also a mini of the Kat Von D liquid lip, and I, you know, I just don't find that super comfortable. And then as far as the minis, the Buxom Lip Gloss, I actually already have that shade. I already have a full size of the, um, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick that's in there, the Rum Punch, and then the Bite Beauty. I don't have that, but that would be, I'd be basically paying $28 for the Bite Beauty thing. So, no, I'm not going to get it. Another one that I looked at and thought about was the Prime Set and Go Set. I believe this is all cruelty free, although Laura Mercier may not be cruelty free anymore. I think she may have started selling in China recently. I'm not sure. I have to do more research on that. But um, everything else is cruelty free. There aren't any full sizes in here. They have some really great products, but actually I own or have owned all of these and I don't need this. Like, I just don't need it. Like I have a lot of primers, I have a lot of setting sprays and I'm happy with the ones that I have, so I'm not gonna buy this. And then, uh, let's see, this is, the, this is the one that has tempted me the most. Uh, <laughs> this is the Skin Wonderland set 
and it only has two products in here that are not cruelty free and they're both minis. One is from Fresh and one is from Bosha. I really wish Fresh would become cruelty free again because they used to be and I love that brand. But yeah, the, everything else is cruelty free. I'm really tempted by this because it has that Foreo or Foreo, whatever the face cleaner thing, um, which is something that I want to try and that on its own is like 39 bucks. And then it also has the First Aid Beauty, like the Hello Fab Coconut Smoothie Primer, which is one of my favorite primers, but I rotate three primers in my collection and that's one of them. I don't, because I use other primers as well, I don't think I'm going to go through that for like a year. So there's really no pr point in me purchasing this unless I'm planning to give that primer to someone else because that's what the full size product is in this set. So um, the other stuff in here looks really good though. The, there's something from Drunk Elephant, there's something from Josie Moran, um, there's something from Kate Somerville, Sunday Riley, like Dennis, Dr. Dennis Gross. Those are all great cruelty free brands that are really expensive, but they're just all minis and like I just don't need more stuff so I'm not getting it. So next thing that I want to talk about is the Too Faced Christmas Collection. I am not getting anything from this collection this year. There's the best year ever, like this set of three palettes hasn't gotten really great reviews and just looks like the same thing that they come out with every year and it's got it like, except for it has like a bright pink blush that I would never use. So definitely not getting that. Um, they also have this like uh, beauty planner thing. It's like 59 bucks and it actually is getting really good reviews, but I just don't need that. I wouldn't use that kind of planner. I like the planners that you can like plan out your day individually and that this planner doesn't have that and um, the palette you know it's pretty but I don't need it I just don't need it so I'm not gonna get that I'm not gonna get the Ulta one which actually looks really nice but it's like a very flimsy planner that comes with that one I do like the color um, I like the planner idea I don't have a problem with that but I don't need it I don't need that palette I would rather just buy my planner off of Amazon like I always do so no, I'm not going to get that stuff. The Melted Matte Gingerbread. Uh, this, I really like their holiday edition Melted Matte. I should say, well, I really liked last year's. It was the Peppermint Mocha one. Love, love, love that. If you're into this color, I'd say go for it. But I just, it looks like a very orangey, like brown based kind of red that just is not my kind of color. It would just look bad on me. So I'm not going to get it. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is Tarte's Holiday Collection. Now I did buy the Tarte Ulta exclusive palette and their exclusive blush palette and I bought one of their brush sets. I just always get drawn, sucked into the Tarte stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm not getting any of this stuff. They have a palette at Sephora. It seems like it may actually be their regular formula because this one was made in America and uh, smells like vanilla. I actually smelled it in store and it smells like vanilla. It swatches really nicely. So uh, it is it is getting pretty decent reviews. So I would say if you want it, you know, go for it. But like, honestly, it doesn't have any particularly unique shades in my opinion. So I am not getting that. I'm not going to get the blush bazaar this year because I got last year's and I love it and it's great, but it's got 10 blushes and I have a million blush palettes and a million single blushes and I have so much blush. You only need one blush. <laughs> Let's let's be honest. You really only need one blush. Maybe a you know if you want a peachy blush and then maybe a like rosy tone blush. Maybe a couple different shades. But I've got like probably a hundred blushes between my palettes and my singles, and like I'm never gonna be able to use them all. It takes like a year to go through a blush. So nope, not going to get that. Okay, and then generalize. I'm just I'm not getting anything from the holiday collection. I might get the lip topper with like the blingy top because it just looks really pretty. Uh, I might get that during the VIB sale or something. But other than that, I'm not getting the rest of this stuff. Like the lipstick set, I don't need all that. So no, uh, the highlighter. I actually tested this in store and it looks gorgeous. Like just looking at it, but once you swatch it, it's like really chalky and like glitter fallout and not good. Okay, next thing I'm not going to get is the Stila Glitter and Glow, like the little three, three set for $25. This is actually a really good value if you haven't tried any of the Stila Glitters. Um, there are three minis. It takes a long time to go through products if you have a lot of products. So um, I think that this is a good way to try those Stila Glitters because I think they cost like $24 a piece and this way you get three different colors for $25. So I do think that that's a good value. Uh, however, I already have two out of three of these shades, so I'm not going to get them. I have a friend who really likes um, duochromatic looks and glittery looks and stuff, but she likes more colorful things, so I was thinking about getting this for her, but I'm not going to get it for her because she's 
she would prefer different colors. Next palette that I'm not gonna get, this one really tempted me. Um, this is the Viseart Golden Hour Eyeshadow Palette. It's just a b pretty basic warm tone palette. I was interested in it because I wanted to try Viseart shadows. I still wanna try Viseart shadows, but they're so expensive and these are not colors that would be unique in my collection. And it's $50 for this tiny like nine pan palette. I'm just, or $49, I'm not gonna buy it. Next thing is the Making Faces Beauty Book. This is another thing that I, I'm like, I wanna try this brand, I wanna try this formula. And you get a lot of stuff all in one and you know, travel friendly, all that good stuff. It is $75 dollars it's just too much money even sixty dollars at the VIB sale like it's just too much I, I you know I don't want to spend that much money on stuff that I really already have in my collection you get a contour book you get blush you get a bunch of eyeshadows but they're all pretty neutral eyeshadows I think this would be a really nice thing if you don't have a lot of makeup um, but given my collection, I don't need it. So not gonna buy it. Next thing I'm not gonna buy are these NYX In Your Element palettes. When they first like started sneak peeking them on trend mode a few days before they were released or I don't know, a few weeks before they were released, I was really interested in these palettes because they just looked so pretty. I was really interested in the Air palette, but then I've watched some reviews on that and it looks really similar to the Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D, which I love and I know is gonna be better than the next palette. Um, and then, you know, the other palettes just weren't as interesting to me, so not gonna pick that up. Next thing that I wanna talk about is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Palette. This is 30 bucks, I think this is actually a pretty good deal. It just doesn't like scream my name. I And I, like I said before, I don't need more blushes, so I'm not gonna be picking that up. Next thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, I want to call it the Marshmallow Palette. That's not what it's called. It's the uh, Sugar Glow Kit. This is a highlighter kit with one highlighter that would work on my skin tone. The other th three I'm pretty sure would be too dark. So not going to get that. The next thing is going to be the Ciate London Mermaid Glow Highlighter. This is 32 bucks. It's so pretty and I want it because it's so pretty. But I have the Ulta like rainbow highlighter and it's gorgeous and I don't use it very much. So I just, I definitely don't need this. I probably wouldn't use it. So I'm not going to be buying that. And the last thing, the Urban Decay Metal Shock Palette. I actually don't remember the name and I don't have a picture on my phone right now, so I will put it in a caption. But uh, this has a bunch of shimmer shades. There are no mattes. It's got a bunch of colors on one side and a bunch of neutrals on the other side. If the palette was set up differently and if it had a few like matte transition shades or something, I would probably be incredibly interested in this palette but because of the way it's laid out, it's got like a mirror in the middle. And so it's like, I don't know, but uh, it's just not something that I need. And I don't like having to pull out multiple palettes when I'm doing a look. I like everything in one palette. So it for me, it would need to have mattes for me to buy it. Also, Urban Decay limited edition palettes typically go on sale within two to eight months after they're released. So it's it's hard for me to purchase Urban Decay palettes anymore uh, that are limited edition right after they release. So that is everything. Holy cow, that's like 30 minutes. Hopefully I can cut it down a little bit because I do not like posting videos this long. <laughs> but there was a lot to anti-haul. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you are not going to pick up or maybe some things that you do want to pick up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.